ஹாய் வெல்கம் டு சுனில் மேத்ஸ் டியூட்டோரியல் கால்வாய்ஸ் தெரி கிளாஸ் நம்பர் செவன் இன் திஸ் வீடியோ வி லேர்ன் டூ தீரம்ஸ் அண்ட் ஒன் டெஃபினிஷன் லெட்டர் சி த டெஃபினிஷன் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் எம்பெட்டிங் ஆஃப் எஃப் இன்டு இ சப்போஸ் கேபிட்டல் இ அண்ட் எஃப் போத் ஆர் ஃபீல்ட்ஸ் and there is a function there is a mapping f maps capital f into e is a homomorphism is a homomorphism then this mapping f is called an embedding of f into e if it is one one mapping if it is one one mapping so from this definition you understand you understand that embedding means it is both homomorphism and one to one mapping it is both one homomorphism mean homomorphism plus one to one mapping so i repeat capital e and f are two fields and f is a function from small f is a function from field f into capital e another field is a homomorphism then this mapping f is called embedding of f into e if f is 1 1 so simply embedding means it is just a homomorphism and a 1 1 mapping from a field into another field now i prove one lemma let us see the statement e and f be two fields and sigma maps e in f into e be an embedding of f into e then there exists a field k such that f is a subfield of k and sigma can be extended sigma can be extended to an isomorphism of k into e so there is a mapping sigma that maps from f into e it is embedding it is embedding means this sigma is 1 1 and homomorphism then there must be a field capital k such that such that f is subset to k and this sigma can be extended to another mapping that is defined from k into e which is an isomorphism that is defined from k into e which is an isomorphism this is the statement of our lemma let us prove one by one so simple proof you understand that let us see f and e be fields sigma maps f into e be an embedding of f into e by definition of embedding sigma is both one one and homomorphism so obviously by the definition of uh, <coughs> by the definition of sigma sigma of f is subset to e sigma of f is subset or equivalent to e now we define a set capital s we define a set capital s whose cardinality cardinality of s is equals to cardinality of e minus sigma of f remember we are defining a set capital s such that the cardinality of s is equivalent to the cardinality of e minus sigma of f this means the number of elements in the set s is equivalent to the number of elements in the set e minus sigma of f that's mean cardinality of s is equals to cardinality of e minus sigma of f now define capital k this is important point define capital k is equals to f union s define capital k is equals to f union s and define one more mapping small f such that small f such that s minus e minus sigma of f which is 1 1 which is 1 1 then sigma can be extended to sigma star which is defined from k into e and defined as you observe that sigma star of a is equals to it takes two values it is equivalent to sigma of a and equivalent to f of a according to the element a belongs to f whenever the element a belongs to f it is sigma of a and whenever a belongs to s it is f of a so it is very clearly in the data we have sigma and f both are well defined 
both are well defined therefore sigma star is also well defined now it is remaining to prove that sigma star is a homomorphism to prove the homomorphism condition now we define the field structure on the capital k as follows we have to prove that sigma star is a homomorphism so let us define the field structure x plus y is equals to it is simple x plus y is equals to sigma star inverse of sigma star of x plus sigma star of y and x into y is equals to sigma star inverse of sigma star inverse of sigma star x into sigma star y so from these two structures product addition product and addition very clearly sigma star is a homomorphism from k into capital e hence sigma star is 1 1 this is not into on to and homomorphism a 1 1 on to and homomorphism is called isomorphism therefore sigma star is an isomorphism from k into e that is k is isomorphic to e therefore k is a field because e is a field therefore hence we conclude that f is a subfield of k a field f is a subfield of k and sigma can be extended to sigma star which is defined from k into e this completes the proof of our theorem in this video we learn one more theorem let us see let p of x be an irreducible polynomial in f of x then there exists an extension e of f in which p of x has a root important theorem also for five mark section uh, let us see here p of x is an irreducible polynomial in the polynomial ring f of x here the symbol f of x here the symbol f of x represents the ring of polynomials it is the ring of polynomials over the field capital f in the variable x capital f of x is the ring of the polynomials defined over the field capital f in the variable x and they given that in the data we have the polynomial p of x is irreducible the polynomial p of x is irreducible in the polynomial ring capital f of x now already we learned that the properties of f of x by using the properties of f of x here f of x is a polynomial f of x is a polynomial ring and p of x is an irreducible polynomial it is very clearly generator p of x generator p of x is a maximal ideal because p of x is irreducible the polynomial is irreducible so generator p of x is a maximal ideal maximal ideal in the ring of a polynomial f of x p of x is a maximal ideal then obviously quotient ring gen f of x by generator p of x is a field is a field it is very very important point to remember very very important point to remember i repeat this p of x is irreducible p of x is irreducible in the polynomial ring f of x uh, when then obviously the quotient ring f of x by generator p of x generator p of x is a maxim is a field the converse also holds generator f of x by p of, capital f of x by generator p of x is a field that's it so right now let us define this capital e is equals to let us define e is equals to capital f of x by generator p of x capital f of x by generator p of x now take an element a belongs to f if you take an element a belongs to f implies as there must be a corresponding element a bar which is in the form of a plus generator p of x a plus generator p of x is clearly belongs to capital e where e is the remember that where e is the f of x by generator p of x f of x by generator p of x this shows us clearly this shows us capital e is an extension field of f this shows us capital e is an extension field capital e is 
an extension field of capital F. What it means? F is subset to E. F is subset to E. In another words, we written like this also. E is an extension of F. So right. By given hypothesis, they given that. By given hypothesis, the P of X has a root in capital E. P of X has a root in capital E. Let us check it. This hypothesis is right or wrong. It means P of X bar is equals to zero. Now define P of X is equals to. Now define P of X is equals to a naught plus a one x plus a two x square plus and so on plus a n x power n. So P of X bar is equals to zero means a naught plus a one x plus a two x square plus and so on plus a n x power n whole bar is equals to zero. You can split this polynomial a naught bar plus a one x bar plus a two x square bar plus and so on plus a n x power n bar is equals to zero because all these scalars a naught a one and so on a n are scalars so a naught bar is equals to a naught a one bar is equals to a one a n bar is equals to a n so the above expression takes the form a naught plus a one x bar plus a two x bar square plus and so on plus a n x bar power n is equals to zero. This condition shows as x bar is a root of p of x. X bar is a root of p of x. X bar is a root of p of x. And what is x bar? X bar is equals to x plus generator p of x, which belongs to capital F of x by generator p of x, and which is equivalent to e. It means x bar belongs to capital E such that p of x bar is equals to zero. This condition shows as x bar is a root of p of x. X bar is a root of p of x. That is the required one also. Now you see here. Therefore, capital E is an extension field of F, and p of x has a root in capital E. That's it. This completes the proof of the theorem, and I repeat the statement. We conclude this proof. If p of x be an irreducible polynomial in f of x, then there exists an extension E of f in which p of x has a root. By this statement, you must understand that for every irreducible polynomial, there must be an extension field in which that irreducible polynomial has a root. It means the polynomial is reducible in the extension field. To understand this, let us see this example. Let us see this example. X square plus two is equals to zero, or x square minus two is equals to zero. X is equals to plus or minus root two. It means this polynomial x square minus two is redu reducible over capital R, irreducible over Q, reducible over capital R, irreducible over capital Q, or in another words, reducible over Q, irreducible over Q root two. Therefore. Same polynomial x square minus two has a root in q root two. Therefore, therefore, q root two is an extension field of q. Q root two is an extension field of q. That's it. Keep learning. Wish you all the best.